heartbreak at an Owasso Pet Hospital. Two of their employees were diagnosed with cancer. This is just in the last two months. Two Works For You reporter Micah Hatfield shows us how the employees are rallying together in this fight. It's a hard hit to the Saho family with two of their employees being diagnosed with cancer just weeks apart. But their support is what's keeping these women going. Paulette Solitario is one of the friendly faces you see when you walk through the front doors. She was diagnosed with breast cancer about two months ago. She's like everybody's grandma, so of course you're, you're sorry for your grandma hurting, but then you're side blindsided by the same thing. October 2nd, 32-year-old Alicia Bowser got the heartbreaking news. Stage 3, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Today, Bowser underwent her second of six rounds of chemo at a local cancer hospital. Down the hall, her co-worker and friend undergoing radiation. It's them together, determined to beat the odds. I love you, honey. We gotta, we gotta get through this. We'll do this. We're, we're strong. Bowser says sitting in the hospital can be grueling, but it's the text she gets from her co-workers saying one of the dogs peed on them that makes her smile, even when she's too exhausted to respond. Because you can get very depressed easily at a drop of a hat of why me and I have an eight-year-old daughter of what's going to happen to her, who do, who, who do I tell her about, what happens if I leave, but then you get a text message from one of 80 employees that love you and are there for you at any second of the day and it changes your whole mood. Saho employees described Bowser as the one who can always make you smile and Solitario as the one who's constantly looking out for everyone. They both um, have given us They've enlightened us, they've showed their love, they've um, expressed their sincerity in everything that they do, and so we just want to give back. They're holding a fundraiser with food and games at the pet hospital, specifically for their friends. Just another way, Saho is keeping them involved in the clinic until they're able to return full time. Beating cancer and returning to her furry babies is a thought that lit Bowser's face up. I can imagine it like a cat who just got set free, like out of a bag, just go crazy on them, but without the claws. The fundraiser is this Saturday from 11 to 2 at Saho. People can feel free to bring their pets. In Owasso, Micah Hatfield, Two Works For You.